where chaos reigns. Enough! And all hope is lost. Hang your heads in shame. There is only one man. I expect some space. Brave enough to face the flames. I just want some food now. Get ready for a thrill ride unlike any other. Don't sit there with your mouth open. I'll put something in there. Intense. I scare you. You're so weak. It's ridiculous. I'm not even talking to you. Come at me. Jaw dropping. Hey, look at cool. me. Cool. Cool. Hey, cool. Emotional. Oh, are you okay? No. Do you want to start crying? No, Chef. No. You're embarrassing me in front of one of my heroes. Well, I apologize for that. Outrageous. Ah! Ah! Come on! <laughs> oh, my God! <gasps> Explosive. Are you kidding me? Dead. Look me up. I don't give a... Go home now. But beware. Don't come in here and turn your down. Because if you can't stand the heat... You are lying. Get the hell out of the kitchen. Do you have any idea what the is going on? Sorry, I cut my finger off, chef. Medic! Right here. Where? It's not there. Oh, my God. Assembled from across the country, the newest crop of Hell's Kitchen chefs have just arrived in Los Angeles. Hi, Eric. And they waste no time getting to know one another. Y'all all ready to be yelled at. Bucket list. Yelled at by Chef Ramsey. I can't believe how ridiculously confident everyone is. You better bring it, because I'll bring it. When they really don't know what they're about to go into. I all going to take all the boys out. I got you your friend's meal. You're not your mother. That voice is like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, my God. Grandpa, I can't wait to dust you in the kitchen. Take it easy with the grandpa lines. I'm bringing the experience to the table. I mean, I'm a very, very young 47. <laughs> the new recruits are clearly excited to get their first look at Hell's Kitchen. Oh, no. But it appears that Chef Ramsey has planned a detour. Oh, yeah. I see tanks, I see fences, and I'm like, what the f is this? Where are we? Let's go, move with the purpose. Come on, get a close one. Get Pay attention. Go. Over here, get behind your duffel bag. I thought I was setting up for Hell's Kitchen, not the army. Let's go, find your bag and stand behind it. You're going to get into uniform. Is that understood? I want to see commitment. Ah, uh, this isn't going to be good. To my right, your left. Um, okay. I surrender. Why is there a tank coming at me? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my God. I could not believe that was Gordon Ramsay. He just looks so good in person. Before you can enter House Kitchen, I need to make sure that all of you have the discipline that is needed to survive. And I can't think of anyone better than the U.S. Army to prepare you. Because I've arranged for all of you to go through a very special boot camp. If you survive it, I will be convinced that you are ready for the challenges that lay ahead of you. I didn't sign up for that. Like, I am not a military person at all. I can't handle that. Is that clear? Yes, sir! I can't hear you. Yes, yes sir! Sergeants, they're all yours. Yes, Chef. In your bags. We'll have uniforms. Pull them out. Let's go. Move it. Move it. Come on. Come on. Let's get it done. Let's go. Move out. Move out. I'm ready. I'm first. I know I'm mentally and physically ready. You know, look at me. Line it up. Let's go. Keep going, go, go, keep go, going. Go, go. Seeing these obstacles, and I'm like, all right, there's a balance beam. All right, I can do that. No crawl, no There's crawl. a crawl thing. Don't I can do that. Don't be scared to get dirty. But I didn't know what the these hurdle things were for. Let's go. Let's go. 
behind me. I am so ready to climb the wall. I am a freaking monkey. Be very, very careful. In my head, I'm thinking, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Are we going to have to help Pat get over this thing? Are you ready? Yes, sir! That's what I thought you'd say. shown me your commitment and desire to succeed in Hell's Kitchen. So you've earned the right to face your first big challenge, your signature dish. Now, all of you, get in to Hell's Kitchen because your 45 minutes starts now. Hurry up. being warmed up by a mini army boot camp. Both the men's team and the women's team are now focused on the job at hand. Get these girls cleaning the kitchen. Let's take this win home. Making a great first impression in front of Chef Ramsay. Oh, yeah. With their signature dish. 20 minutes to go, guys. Yeah, They're halfway, 20, yeah? Yes, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Let's go. It's tough for someone my age. I'm young, so I gotta sit there and I have to prove myself. You know, I look like, you know, I'm fresh out of middle school. Just under five minutes to go. Use your time wisely. Is this front corner open now? Take the swim, boys. Yep, getting down, ma'am. Hey, Come hey. behind. Hot hands, ladies. Coming down. Right behind. Ten, nine, eight, seven, down, hot hand, hot. six, five, four, three, two, one, and place. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go any further, I do have a major announcement. The winner of Hell's Kitchen will become the head chef at the stunning multi-million dollar restaurant, Yardbird Southern Table and Bar, at the luxurious Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. Man, to pick up and move out there to Vegas and to run one of the best restaurants there at the Venetian? Come on, man. That's, that's exciting. Trust me, this is a career-changing opportunity. And that comes with a quarter million dollars. <laughs> okay, listen carefully. Each dish will receive a score of one to five. The team that accumulates the most points clearly wins the challenge. Let's go, young man, young lady. Both you come up. First up is New Jersey culinary instructor Pat facing off against catering chef Gia. Gia, where are you from? New York. New York. Who got into cooking? Um, me, myself. I just started a family and wanted to make my family happy. Generally the idea when you start a family, you want to make them happy. Good. <laughs> so you didn't start training with anybody, you just woke up one morning and decided to cook? My husband didn't like leftovers, so my friends would come over and they'd be like, Gia, people will pay for your leftovers. You charge your friends and family for leftovers? No, 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 no. <laughs> Your friends are prepared to pay for your leftovers. I am so excited to get under that dough. 
Wow, what is that? That's shrimp and grits with cheese and bacon on top. Here's the thing, it looks a little bit messy, clumsy, but it actually tastes quite nice. Uh, for me, that's a four out of five. Good job. I'm so happy because so many guys were popping so much junk on that bus today. It just felt so good to get that four. Okay. Pat, how old are you, Pat? 47. 47. My age. Yeah, we look similar. Well, I got a couple of inches. You have a couple of inches where? <laughs> stomach. Oh, st stomach. <laughs> What's under the dough? Have a sea bass with a light citrus risotto. Not a bad job. I mean, I'm going to give it a three. Thank you. Second up for the men is Michigan cook Aaron. But before Chef Ramsay tastes his dish, he has one very important question. What the f are you wearing? <laughs> The whitest pair of legs I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm from life. Michigan. It's cold there. Can I just remind you, this is a cooking competition, not a golfing competition, right? Yes, yes, chef. Do your parents know you're here? <laughs> yes, yes, they do. Yes. Right hand up to God. I swear my parents know I'm here. I swear my parents know I'm here. Wow. <laughs> they do. After having a bit of fun with this young-looking 22-year-old, you Chef Ramsay moves on to his signature schnitzel. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to fault it. Uh, four out of five. Good job. Thank you, chef. Well done. It's now up to Bronx pastry chef Wendy as she tries to keep pace with her roasted heirloom tomato soup. Wendy, it's stinking of garlic. So, two. Two out of five. With the men taking a slight lead, single mother and sous chef Heather is hoping to make an impact with her seared ribeye. Oh, temperature, absolutely spot on, mid rare all the way through. Uh, it looks delicious. You're and welcome. Thank tastes you, delicious. And that, young lady, is my first five of the night. Thank you. Uh, that is what I call a signature dish. On the heels of Heather's perfect score, Brooklyn executive chef Pauly tries to impress Chef Ramsay with his biscotti encrusted scallops with polenta cake. Pauly, it's a five. Congratulations. I am ecstatic. Thank the Lord. I feel so proud of myself. Yeah. Well done. Thank you, sir. After a flawless round, South Carolina assistant restaurant manager Devin tries to continue the hot streak with his bacon-wrapped scallops. I'm struggling right now to give that a one. Sir Chef. Right, uh, young lady. Kimberly. Kimberly, current position? I am the executive chef and catering director of a Latin-infused sushi truck in New York Ooh, State. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Latin-infused yep, sushi. we do Latin-infused sushi. It's all about fun infusion, absolutely. Confusion? <laughs> So what Japanese delight do you have under there? Absolutely nothing. What? <laughs> it's not a Latin fusion no, Japanese. Sir. No. What's under there? It is a pepperdell pasta with uh, clams and a red tomato sauce with lots of garlic and wine because it's all about me and I love garlic and I love wine. Homemade pasta? No, unfortunately not. Obviously fresh clams. I use one can of canned clams. Kimberly, yes, sir. that is a mess. One out of five. You cannot make the words canned clams sound good ever. Oh, damn. With the men clinging to a small lead, it's now up to Los Angeles saute chef Matt to try and add to it with his... Dove breast bolognese. Hold on. Uh, bolognese, but the word you said beforehand was... Dove, dove. breast. Yes, chef. As in dove. As in the bird. The, pi the bird, chef. The pigeon. The pigeon. The one that everybody would be square scared to cook with. Um, never even made it before, but. So, let's get this right. I'm your guinea pig. Well, if I can execute something that I've never did and it still came out, that's what you should be looking at, you know? That has set the tone for the whole competition. Describe it. Uh, well, it's very gamey. It's the middle of the signature dish challenge. I have a nice dove breast bolognese. The pigeon. The pigeon. And Chef Ramsay is mystified by Matt's choice of protein. Never even made it before, but let's get this right. I'm your guinea pig. Absolutely.
the word bolognese. <laughs> One out of five, Lisa. After the Dove disaster, the women are hoping kitchen manager and mother of four Aziza's salmon will have a much better fate. It's the kind of dish you want to eat in the dark. It tastes good, but it looks dreadful. So, two out of five. Okay. With both teams now tied, can Gennaro's dish rebound for the men or be just another lame duck, not dove, right? Duck, <laughs> duck bread. <laughs> You know, that completely ducked up this dish. One out of five. With a chance to pull her team into the lead, up next is event chef Ryan. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Traverse City, Michigan. Why Hell's Kitchen? I did this for my four year old daughter. I want to show that you don't have to work at a job that you hate, you can find what you love to do. Right. Coming from a fellow mom, I think she understands. You have to do whatever you can to succeed. What's under the dome? I have seared scallops with some seasoned Rice Krispies for texture. Uh, Rice Krispies? Yes. I mean, it's delicious. It is five out of five. Good job. Really good job. What the hell just happened? Who taught her to cook like that? It's really annoying when, like, cute little girls cook really well. The women have their first lead, and Long Island banquet chef Shayna is hoping to keep them on top with her salmon on cruise. Three out of five. Good job. With the men trailing, it's time for Coop, a former auto factory worker turned chef, to do what he can to keep the blue team in the race. And why pull cheap? It's just different. I like to play on what somebody knows, and hopefully they like the concept, and we'll try the new thing. It's a very strong four. Good job. Thank you, sir. Very good job. The red team maintaining their lead. Next up is Jessica, a single mother of one and university chef, to dazzle Chef Ramsay. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to struggle to give this a one out of five. With Jessica's risotto being a huge failure, can Philly based sous chef Andrew put the men's team in the lead again? And where did you train? Uh, I went to Le Cordon Bleu School in Pittsburgh. Wow. Cordon Bleu, expensive one. <laughs> yep. Uh, describe the dish. Uh, it's a pan roast and halibut um, with roasted mushrooms, butter poached leeks, and a shellfish broth. So, um, mushrooms are terrible. Two out of five. It's the final round, and with the men trailing by two, Johnny's looking to score big with his ribeye. And the current job? Head chef. How many's in the brigade? Just, just one, just me. Uh, <laughs> you're the head chef, but you're the only one in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, you're going to be the head chef. You got it. What's under the dome? Under the dome, we have a uh, steak and farro with green beans and grape tomatoes. Um, you've nailed the ribeye. The protein has been one of the best uh, from the blue team. That's a four out of five, Johnny. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Good job. Uh, first name is? Heidi. Heidi, where are you from? Auburn, Maine. And current job now? Current job, I'm an executive chef in Lewiston, Maine. What's under the dome? Uh, underneath the dome is a ricotta gnocchi. Wow. And you made all them by hand? Yes. Yeah, rolled them myself too. A little bit too much uh, arugula because it's all over the place. Gnocchi's seared nicely on the outside, fluffy in the center. Um, three to win, Heidi. Uh, this dish gets a four out of five. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. Good effort. Thank you. First blood, bitches. First blood. We got it. For winning the first challenge tonight, ladies, I'm sending you all out on an unbelievable night on the town. Yeah! Trust me, if you're riding a star, if you think you've seen a stretch limo before, believe me, you've never, ever seen anything like this. <laughs> Basically, I'd call it a nightclub on wheels. I've also arranged you to have a unique dining experience at the delicious Dakami restaurant. Yes. Trust me, first class sushi, the most amazing views. You're gonna love it. One more thing. Do you know what, ladies? This restaurant's so amazing. I didn't want to miss out. I'm gonna join you for dinner. Woo! Yes, I cannot tell you how excited I am. Now we're going out to dinner with Chef Ramsay's best first night ever. Well done.
Blue team, all of you will be spending the evening here in Hell's Kitchen doing back-breaking chores. I want this dining room set up beautifully. Once you've decluttered the dining room, I want you to bring in all the tables, all the linens, all the crockery, all the glassware, and all these risers where our audience are sat must be folded, loaded up, and transported back out of here. This sounds like a insurmountable task. Got it? Yes, yes sir. Yep. Good. As the women enter the dorms happily, wow! <laughs> oh my God! The losing men's team slink along behind them, but discover that a surprise waits for all. Holy! What is this? <gasps> Can we open this? No! My God! It's painful. Oh, that is the greatest present I could ever get. It's like best feeling in the world, hands down. This night is ill. Winners get great rewards in Hell's Kitchen, and they get to eat dinner with Chef Ramsay. Oh my god, that's it! Oh, oh my god! Never been in a limo that big. First of all, it was a hummer. That was like the best day. It was like really fun to be chauffeured around. So good. It's like a, for things to come. It's gonna be a lot of that to come. Shout out to Ryan with that five. Yeah! yeah. Ladies, welcome. Follow me. Let's go. Come through, ladies, please. Isn't this beautiful? I couldn't believe it. I felt like VIP. The view was amazing. You can't get better than that. Ladies, if there's one piece of advice I can give you guys is just stay focused. Yes, sir. Game plan? Get the guys out. Get the guys out? Yeah. Congratulations. Good Thank job. You, Cheers. Cheers. While the women are living the high life with Chef Ramsay, back in Hell's Kitchen. Hi, guys. Let's go. The men get their marching orders from Maitre D. Marino. We have a truck outside with all my tables and all my chairs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, this is a pain in the I can't believe we lost that first challenge. Guys, you lost because somebody invented the pigeon bolognese. <laughs> you know what? I could go for some dub breast too. <laughs> I could go for a uh, pigeon Big Mac. <laughs> Everybody's kind of rubbing it in, you know, and it's just like really pissed me off. I knew it was a risk. I'm not a dumbass. Like, I know what I was doing. Like, get it, bolognese suck. You know this competition is not how you start, it's how you finish. So, I can't think of two more talented chefs to help take you to the next level. Please welcome winner of Hell's Kitchen, Christina. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, nice to see you. So nice to see you, too. Ladies, well done. I'm leaving the safe hands of two phenomenal chefs. Good night, guys. Congrats, ladies. Thank you. I'm a fan of Scott's, but Christina is my girl. Statistically, the person that wins Signature Dish doesn't win the show. Did you win Signature Dish? How'd you do? No, I did poorly. No, it's not how you start. You gotta keep building. Just, you know, listen and pay attention. Talking to them made me feel better. Y'all can fail, but you still won. I can fail too, and I can still come out a winner. <laughs> As the red team celebrates their first victory with Hell's Kitchen champions. Just bring it down, start getting it closer to the boys. The blue team is having an entirely different evening. There you go. Be able to carry these. No, it's not that heavy. It's not heavy, give me that thing. I mean, I'm the old man of the crew, and this is just ridiculous. I definitely need the young guys to step up during the punishment. All right, here come the big boys. Definitely my workout for today. Ugh. It's man. I'm here busting my ass. Ouch. Pat's not going to be able to hang with us. Coming up. Just look at me in the eyes. Matt goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chef Ramsay. Unfold your arms and don't give me a scallop unless it's cooked perfectly. Yes, Cook it or off. Let's go, gentlemen. Pick it up. Both teams are anxious to get into the kitchens and prepare for tonight's grand reopening of Hell's Kitchen. What else do we need for fish? Uh, we need a large spoon for basting. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, it is definitely game time. I am ready to get this going. I'm ready for Chef Ramsay to start calling out orders. I'm ready to get my hands dirty. Thank you. Like literally no, 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 salt, no, no, salt, 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 like you're using a salt. We are going to kill service tonight. That's good. Money. Okay, money, money, boys. That's good. Ladies, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Gentlemen, line up, please. Let's go. Gentlemen, line up, please. We 
are definitely going to finish the service. Is that clear? Yes, sir. If there's one key message, fight back. What do I want you to do? Fight back! I can't hear you. Fight back! Let's go, guys. Yes, sir! Mourinho. Si, chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Good night. For tonight's grand reopening of Hell's Kitchen, the dining room is filled with VIPs and foodies from all over the country. Can I get the beef Wellington, please? Tonight's our night. No one's going home, right, gentlemen? No one's going home. Let's go. And in addition to Chef Ramsay's legendary menu, the meal just please. A tableside appetizer of handmade linguine and clams will be served by Ryan and Kimberly for the red team and Aaron and Coop for the blue team. And that's it. Thank you. And good luck. Blue team, you're out the gate first. Yes, yes, chef. yes, yes. Let's go. Yes, one scallop, two risotto, two cappellini. Yes, okay. chef. Yes, chef. Heard? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes chef. Let's go. I got risotto. I can nail risotto in my sleep. You know, Italian kids don't eat little rice cereal. You eat risotto. So, this is in my blood. I need one risotto. Here, Chef. What has he done? Hey, Blue Team. Hey, come here. Pat, how do you manage to make a risotto look like a bowl of vomit that's been dipped in oil? How do you manage that? Pat, he's a culinary professor for sake. And he can't even get risotto right? I get that out of here. Why don't Paulie, why don't you do risotto? I got risotto. While the blue team looks to Polly to get the hot appetizers back on track. Let's push. Over in the red kitchen. First table, ladies. Four covers, table 32. Two scallops, two risotto. Yes, chef. Chef Ramsay looks to Heidi on appetizers. Two scallops, yes. Yes, chef. And Jessica on fish to get the women off to a strong start. Jessica, let me know when you're walking, okay? I just flipped them, so give me a minute to get the other side brown. I scored a one on signature dish, so tonight I can uh, redeem myself from yesterday and be in his good graces. Walking. Walking with risotto. Heard walking. Risotto, chef. Scout. Here you go, chef. Who cooked those? Jessica. Nice sear of the scallops. Lovely. Good. Thank you, chef. Yay. <laughs> so far, I'm, I'm doing okay. You're going, John, yes? yes Thanks to Jessica and Heidi, the women deliver their first order of appetizers in a timely manner. Over in the blue kitchen, Paulie delivers his refire on Pat's botched risotto. I got the risottos. Service, please. And the men get their first appetizers out as well. It's really good. Wow. That's delicious. An order, blue team. Table 20, one cow salad, two scallops, two risotto. Yes, yes! Oh, I need a minute and a half. I got the risottos. It's a stressful station, but I, I think I got this. Did you put cheese in yet? Yeah. Mascarpone? Yeah. Pat has this inability to leave me the f alone. Put a little more salt in. Get him hot, get him hot. And he's trying to help, and he's really hindering. More salt. All right, I got this. Scallops, right here, chef. Risotto, how long? Coming around, hot. Behind, chef. They're badly done again. Blue team! Oh, That's you, 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 and you, and you over there, bozo. Yes, chef. Taste the risotto. Here it comes. Salt. Yeah, it's too salty. Salt. Pat, I didn't ask for help, so stop helping. So I want now two risotto, two scallops, and one cow salad. Is that clear? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. While Polly attempts to make another risotto without Pat's salty interference. Two minutes out of scouts. In the red kitchen, the women continue to push out appetizers. Walking with two risottos, Jessica. Hi, following you with the lobster. Come on, we got it, we got it. Service, please. Every bite, it becomes better. <laughs> and are moving on to entrees. All right, ladies, here we go. Five, two, seven, two, New York strip. Hurry, First chef. Step. How long? Five minutes on that strip. Okay. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen, Go. the men are still trying to get out their second order of appetizers. Scallop, where are they? Coming right now, chef. No, 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 no. Can't do it no more, boy. Good. Do what you want then. I, he's calling for us. Basic stuff now. He tried to grab him. I can't serve nothing raw, chef. Dude, they're they're, they're not raw. They're not raw. They're not raw. They're not raw. 90 seconds and they're done. Golden brown and delicious. It's not rocket science. Come on, guys, please. Yes, chef. Let's go. Walk those scallops. Right here, scallops in my hand, chef. On your right. 
Oh, no. It's raw. Hey, come here. Who cooked these scallops? If I don't get a straight answer, I'm going to kick you out. Go ahead, man. You sold them. Wow. He cooked them. I tried to push them on to sell them. So you cooked them? He told me to sell them, chef. I kept telling him, no, you can look at the cameras in here. Cameras? Matt, wow. you got to be out of your mind, bro. Come here, you. Come here. I told him 100 come times, here, you. No. Come here, you. Come here. Chef, come on. Look at me. Look, just look at me in the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> the camera. Yeah, I understand. Look at me. I'm Forty-five minutes into opening night, and Matt's mishap with the scallops. It's raw. Has Chef Ramsay looking for an explanation? You cooked them. You told me to sell them, Chef. I kept telling him no. You can look at the cameras in here. Cameras. Wow. Come here, come here you. Come in. Look at me. Look. Just look at me in the eyes. The camera. Unfold your arms now, and don't give me a scallop unless it's cooked perfectly. You get it? Yeah, I understand. Look at me. And the attitude. Cook it or. Off. Yes, chef. And if I talk about a camera one more time, I'll stick a GoPro up so you can see how you are. Got it? Yes, chef. Idiot. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go, my boy. Back in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay is looking for New York City salmon. Let's go. Yes, walking salmon. Salmon on your right. Strips are walking, ladies. Yeah, good. Strips up, chef. Service, please. Very nice, Heather. Thanks, Chef. Woo! Knocking out the boys. We got this. We got this. We're not getting screamed at. Let's keep plowing through and get this done. Over in the blue kitchen. On order, four kilos, table one. Entree to see best to New York Strip. Her Chef. The pressure is on Devin on meat. Six minutes, I'll have two New Yorks up. And Gennaro and Matt on fish to deliver on their first order of entrees. I got, I got to see best, actually. Right. I'm here to see if I'm a great chef. It's to test my skills. I know who I am. I know I'm good. Where's the best? Right here, chef, in my hand. Let's just go. Sell it, sell it. Two New Yorks. Walking high, two New York strips, chef. Bass! Walking with the sea bass. Hot, coming through. It's raw. Who cooked the bass? You two, come here. Gennaro, Matt, one cooked and one's raw. It's the same table. Why? Come on, man. Who cooked it? Who cooked the bass? You got Dumb and Dumber standing there, looking at each other, like, oh, you tell them, I don't know, you tell them, I don't know, I don't know, you tell them. Answer the question. I would not have shipped that. So how did it get up here? I can't tell them, so I don't know who brought it up. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing here, Matt? Biggest douche ever. Who brought it up? I did, Chef. Get it back in the pan. Yes, Chef. He walks away. Hey, you and you, off out of here. Get out. Have you ever heard anything so stupid in all your life? Hey, the rest of you, come here. Yes, Chef. One more mistake. I swear to God, I'm going to kick you out. Is that hers? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. Let's go. While the blue team attempts to regroup. Me. In the red kitchen. After two salmon, two Wellington, come back to two lamb, two sea bass. Walking with the Wellington. Entrees are making their way to the pass at a blistering pace. Let's go. Walking with the garnish for the salmon. Walk her. Behind you. Walking salmon. Walking with the lamb. I'm walking with the sea bass. Salmon on your right, chef. Oh. Hey, who cooked the salmon? I did, chef. Salmon's cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. We got this. Go, chef. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it, red team. Chef, thank you. Service, please. While the red team continues to do amazingly well for an opening night. Beautiful. Go, please, John. We got this. Yeah. The remaining members of the blue team try to work mistake free. We're not giving up on this one. Two sea bass, how long? I'm rising up with sea bass. Let's go, guys. Are you walking or not? Yes. I Paulie. Yes, sir. The sea bass is raw. The undercooked is raw. Come on. What the f crowd? Where are we at? Where are we at? Hey, where are we at? Hey, hey, hey. 
Oh, really? Get out! Get out! We'll finish it. Useless. It's two hours into the grand reopening of Hell's Kitchen. And while Polly has tried to do what he can on the fish station, the sea bass is raw. Chef Ramsay has had more than enough. Get out! Get out! Get out! Absolutely useless. My team acted like they've never cooked before in their lives. While the men failed miserably, the women yes, last table to Chicken to New York Strip are just one ticket away from delivering one of the best opening nights in the history of Hell's Kitchen. New York Strip. Walking with two. We got it, ladies. Let's go. Come on, ladies. Two chicken. How long? Walking behind. Chef Chicken. Join us for the chicken. Service, please. Ladies, clear down. Well done. Everybody back to the kitchen. Now. Yes, chef. Let's go. You're following me. Chef, may I grab my jacket? No. Stay there. Stay there. Yes, chef. Let me just sum it up. Pathetic. If you could hear the bread kitchen tonight, just like you, opening night, you would have heard a team in there. We're going to regroup, chef. Well, yeah, you are going to regroup, but here's why. I need two nominees to f off. All right, let's just get this over with. We need to cut the f dead weight out of our kitchen. All right, everybody sit down. You got to nominate two. Every person you nominate. Pat. Put Paulie up against Pat. Okay. Devin, go. Uh, Paulie and Pat. Vote. Come on. The app station. That to me is not how you cook good food. Pat, you want to nominate people? Fish station. Gennaro, Matt. Based on that he threw the fish station out first, I'm not willing to lay down and just take this nomination because it was the fish station that really screwed us up. Gennaro, Polly, and, uh, and Pat. Polly, who do you nominate? I'm just saying myself. Polly and Pat. I take responsibility for my actions. You know, I'm a grown man and I didn't work up to par. I don't feel right about sending Polly to this block, man. I think we're cutting our legs out if we send Polly home. Polly is probably one of our strongest chefs here. And you know, he got stuck with Fat Pat. Polly is such a good guy and he has so much honor that he's willing to put himself on the board. I don't think Polly should be going. He's too valuable to this team. Y'all want to get a smoke in before we have to go up and face him again? I don't know what this team is thinking. I don't know what this team is thinking right now. Are we all agreeing with Polly and Pat going up there for nominations? Why aren't we putting that up? Matt, I'm sorry, but the fact that you got in his face and he told me to come here, though. He said, "Come yeah, here." Yeah, but I no, but right you, here. you like you. you no, he told. That's what he you tried to like tough it out. I got military through. background. I just was talking to him. You know what I mean? Like that's how they talk to you. You know, I'm going to be here. You're not gonna get rid of me. I don't care if they're mad. They can be mad. Take your tampon out. Who comes to this competition and treats Gordon Ramsay like that? That is the god of cooking right there. And you, you get in his face like you're going to be in a fist fight with him? Matt is some disrespectful little punk. Ah! If we don't come together with two names as a team, then we're letting him down again. We thought we made a decision. Now everybody's rethinking their decision. Gentlemen, we're dividing right now. We just came together as a team with two names. We did not come together. We just failed. The women delivered one of the best opening nights ever. The men were ejected from the kitchen and instructed to nominate two chefs for elimination. Blue team, have you reached a decision? Yes, yes chef. Was it a team effort? Yes, chef. Andrew, blue team's first nominee and why? Our first nominee tonight is going to be Pat. He sent you up one risotto. It looked like it might have been deep fried. Blue team's second nominee and why? Um. Our second nominee chef is going to be Matt. Matt. He was in charge of the fish station tonight, and it was awful. Matt, Pat, step forward, please. Pat, what were you doing tonight? I definitely had some, you know, misstep coming out of the gate, but 
Bottom line, the fish station, I think, destroyed the whole service. Matt, who cooked those scallops? It was kind of a mix of both of us. You and Gennaro? Yeah, Gennaro, yes, sir. There's no such thing as both you cooking them? No, sir. Are you the weakest chef on the blue team? No, chef. Who is? It's him. It's Pat. I feel like Pat is one of the oldest ones, and he should be able to command the kitchen. You can't blame me for your execution. I did the best I could, you know, for the, being the first time. You know, I feel like I... That's the best you could? Is that you? That's, your not, best? that's not the best, chef. You screwed the fish. He fries risottos. My decision is... Matt, get back in line. Pat, give me a jacket. Get out of Hell's Kitchen. That is all. Pat, the door's there. I'm definitely angry that I'm getting sent home tonight. I'm pissed. The whole blue team had a horrible performance tonight. And they all call me out because they're expecting me to be like super chef. Now, the hardest thing is going to be going home and facing my class. I think I'm going to take a little vacation and hide, hide out for a couple of weeks. Listen up. First night nerves and all that Do me a favor. Grow up. All of you, get some sleep and get out of there. Tonight, I up. And in such, I risked my reputation with Chef Ramsay. That's not going to happen again. The blue team is like little bitches, and I love it. We're here to take the guys out one by one and then dominate this competition. At the end of the day, I'm here for me. Honestly, man, I'm gunning for everybody now. I give two less about them. My plans step my game up so high that they can't even question putting me on the block no more. Pat is Italian and couldn't even cook risotto. What a meatball. Ciao, Pat. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Oh, I'm ready to see the wiener schnitzel. Oh, there it is. When Gia <laughs> has a little too much fun with the men. Oh, my God. What's going on? Will it change her allegiance? <laughs> Enough to sabotage her own team in the kitchen. Are you on fish? Yes, I'm on fish. Richie, she's sinking to Hell's Kitchen. Fish for a team. A Hell's Kitchen first. And will it tear the red team apart for good? This is killing me. Like, I want to sit in a corner and just cry. Next time. What is going on? On a treasonous episode. You're embarrassing me in front of one of my heroes. Of Hell's Kitchen. Gordon's not the only one screaming tonight. The Exorcist series premiere starts right now.